I think that creativity uh, in these kind of areas here prompts great academics in other areas. It was 50 years ago when two of our members came up with the idea, um, Mrs. Grace Dignam and Mrs. Phyllis Atwood got together with Dr. Robert Foley, who was the art director in Enfield, and they partnered to initiate their first annual arts festival. And here we are 50 years later and still going strong and we're so glad to see you all here with us. We need to celebrate the arts and we need to celebrate the talents of these young people and, and what they do. The creativity we see here this evening is wonderful. Uh, from, from the drawings to uh, the, the ceramics, all that there, um, I think we just celebrate the arts because that's part of our educational system. So. This is my first year. I, I recently moved here over the summer from Stratford, Connecticut. I think my favorite would have to be this cactus drawing. I feel like the delicate details and the values and the, the, just the good craftsmanship, I feel like I did very well in. Yeah. And my, like, mainly I'm really good at, like, graphite pencil. I'm, that's mostly what I like to do. And I'm also, like, good at using mediums like paint, colored pencil, and paper sculpture. I've been here um, coming to this festival since uh, seventh grade. Yeah, I've had pieces displayed, but I've never done this thing before. It's good for um, people who are like like the younger students who are inspired by uh, the older ones. They can uh, they can see the like hard work that goes into it. The artwork has changed. You see a difference in what the students do, and not only that. They want to do it. They want to participate and they want to work towards uh, this day where they can have all of their artwork on display. And of course we have a conservation um, award for the students in second grade. They do uh, posters for uh, conservation. I think it's wonderful for the students. They love it. And when they bring their work in, you can tell by their smiles. And some of them actually work during the festival. Now tomorrow we will uh, talk to all of the students who have applied for a scholarship. They bring their portfolio. They're all very excited. And you just have to look around and see the faces on the mothers and fathers. And they're all very happy that their students have the opportunity to show their work to anyone. But as you notice, there's a finite amount of space here. So it's really, uh, I think for all of us, it's important to try to get a real um, broad and diverse range of work. But as you are working with your students and sort of looking through what you're planning to offer to put up at the show, they become very competitive for wanting to have an opportunity to showcase their work. And so it's, it's physically not possible to put up work from every student but I think it's a great um, source of inspiration for students to be able to see the work that's here and to work hard in class to be able to have an opportunity to showcase um, their work in the future. So I think it's a great tool to motivate students, certainly. And I think it's a great, um, it's really great, I think public relations and marketing for our department to be able to bring the community in to support the arts in Enfield. So I think it's really an important aspect of sort of developing the whole child, if you will.